Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and today I am with Ed, my um, Archie friend, and we are going to be doing the top 10, but before we get onto that, we are going to do the highly recommended. So, highly recommended, the first one, and in last place sadly, is the banana ride. Now, yeah. the banana ride is basically your average pirate ship, which is shown on screen right now. And yeah, it's just literally. That's pretty much all. Okay. Yeah. And it's banana instead. Yeah! <laughs> um. Okay, we didn't know what that was. Yeah, it is. Weird world. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Next is the flying fish. Now the flying fish was going to be first, wasn't it? Yeah, but like that's. It's just. Um. Sadly. Yes. Yeah, sadly, it's not first. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. All right. So. Uh. Yeah. Basically. Um. Uh, I am recreating it on the screen, as you can see. Flying. <laughs> so basically, uh, flying fish is a nice little family coaster, but at its core, all it is is a family coaster. Anyways, at them. Uh, another recommended is the Darren Brown's Ghost Train ride. Yeah, uh, generally a really good ride, but only when it works. Yeah. Uh, that's really all I need to say. Flying Fish is probably the best out of that. I know, I know, I know. Crazy. Like, personally, I of them, I kind of like Darren Grounds, like, a little bit more than Flying Fish, but Flying Fish is a good universe. You can't lie. Yeah, no denying that, and no, I have to. And then at number 10 is. At number 10 is. Samurai. Samurai is one of the best. One of the best. Uh, flat rides on the whole of the. Whole of the premise of Thor Park. Would you agree, Ed? Mm, yeah. I do agree, actually. It's really good. Yeah. Really. And, uh, don't we have a friend? Which is in that name. And yeah, in our cafe is someone called Sam. Yeah, uh, Sam is a really good friend. Shout out to him actually. Uh, shout out to him actually. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm also I am riding a ride that I made, you know, just to keep it <laughs> <coughs> At number nine, our first major roller coaster, which is the Walking Dead. Walking Dead is a TV show in the UK, isn't it? Yeah, right now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it has been, yeah, it has been basically recreated as a roller coaster at Thor Park Resort. Now this is the first major roller coaster. Now I say major because, sorry for my you're not really that major. Okay. Yeah, you are a good coaster, but. Uh, so yeah, next we have next we have the detonator. The detonator mm -hmm. is the best one. Mm -hmm. Easily. Also, we're gonna be making Walking Dead. Uh, detonator is absolutely insane. It gets quite higher and. Uh, that that like pre drop like the little oops it stopped was really good yeah. and I have personally done that it is not yeah no. it's the three click challenge trust me mental no cap there seriously you you go on the three click challenge and it's amazing yeah uh. And then in in seventh place we have, we have tidal wave. 
Yes, now this is an amazing water ride and uh, Ed is going to explain the layout to you. So, what it's like is, so it goes up like a lift hill but like it's kind of like water. Water-esque. Yeah, water-esque. Yeah. And then it goes across and then like, and then it goes into a huge massive drop and then it's like an 80 foot drop or something isn't it yeah and like and like if you want to ride water rides best at thought park i would say and um it's just prepare for a big splash bring some spare change of clothes if you go hmm nice uh number six we have the saw like we're sorry that we didn't put this like kind of higher, but it's just like our on our kind of opinion. Isn't it? Yeah, and sores. Uh, let's just say it's not getting that smooth. Yeah. And uh, also, sorry, I'm not making walking dead that long. Yeah. No one really cares about walking dead. Um. Anyways, so basically, the thing about thing about saw is that it's unnecessarily rough for no reason. Yeah. Like, trust me, it is really rough. Don't leave it out though, as it does have single rider. Gerslau, I love you. Uh, um, yeah, uh, and I'm not going to be remaking that one. Because saw is rough. And uh, also, I need to finish walking again. But the next one I might, and that is Colossus at number five. The power of ten in Colossus. The, it made the world record in Britain for most inverts. It has um well a pretty good just me saying it had had the world record for most inversions in Britain. In the world, actually, right. Is it the world? Oh, oh yeah, it's the world. And it's also Thought Park's first major one. I just had to think back then because, yeah, plus it's a really just a really good one. I like it. And then at number four is we have Nemesis in fun. Now, here's the thing, copycat. Copycat. Nemesis Reborn is ten times better. Yeah, of course. Like, same name, like, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's just Nemesis Reborn. We're not going too much. Nemesis Reborn is just like ten times yeah, better. Yeah, like a little bit of copycat, but then it's also it's just as good. It's a good ride. Yeah, like, it's a good ride. Yeah. And then... At number three, we have Stealth. Now, Stealth is, uh... Well, Stealth. Stealth is Stealth. Stealth is Stealth. Like, uh, before I do it, I would say it's a main attraction, but then... we I would have put it at first place. I mean, second place, but... Then I remembered about, well, this coat, the next coat, and you'll see in a minute. Yeah, uh, literally, this ride in particular was absolutely insane. Yeah, like, it goes up so high, has a place in the middle, and like then, how, how much budget did they have for that ride? I don't know. Like, it's just, and launch launches straight into boosters like as you can see Archie is making here launches straight into boosters and then somehow it's it still makes it well the only and then there's a bad problem sometimes it has one max robux robux or one max oh uh, uh, yeah i call them one max but the only reason this sometimes happens is because of the weather conditions. Which is a good thing because of how fun it is. Yeah, and like, rollbacks are so good, aren't they? Yeah, but... There's only it's just, sometimes if you want to go all the way round, and like, get down, like, the main, like, drop thing, like, 
where it goes up and then over and then down to where the flag arch is doing right now. If you want to do that, it is kind of annoying having a roll back. But that is our number three. And, and number also, two. wait, wait, wait. Before number oh. three, um, I want to tell you guys something. So, um, of course, we're going to have an advertisement, aren't we? So basically, um, I'm going to start a march. Yes, yeah. march. I don't think you told me about this, did you? No, and now I'm about to tell you everything. So, Ed, would you like to be featured in one of the march stamps? It's not going to be your face, you know. Yeah, 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 of course it's it. Uh, yeah, I would. Alright, so we have official Archie march coming. And, uh... Thanks. Can we have like an exact release date or is it just? It's in the makings. Yes, it's now, in the making. Bad news is that it's either gonna come out this year or next year, as I don't know my budget, and I also don't know. Um, maybe I don't know. I have enough materials, or how many things I can make, as I'm gonna need a lot. Oh, and another thing, guys, it might be in UK pounds. So if you're um, in America, we're sorry, but it might just be in UK pounds. But if it's not, then we could try and make it in UK pounds and, yeah. Well, it does kind of do that in Google already. Uh, yeah, and as you can see, uh, stuff is so easy that, that, that I've already done it. I think that's a bit, a bit too much time. <laughs> this is literally less track than the real I mean, thing. Like a bit too much cards. <laughs> Alright, anyways, uh yeah, so I'm gonna start the testing of this roller coaster. Stealth in the making. Yeah. Anyways, uh when we've done this one we will do number two, which is really good, I'd say. Uh now of course I I didn't test it so Let's just say it's not the smoothest of rides. Yeah, not the smoothest, but it works. Yeah, it works. That's all you need. And at number two is the swarm. The swarm is an insane creation. Literally, the best wing coaster I've been on. Like, yeah, it's such a good wing coaster. Like, from the drop. To the to the literally everything like the drop is oh, amazing maybe the best part that might be a little sketchy but yeah, a little sketchy, a little sketchy. um yeah it's just it's just amazing yeah now let's deep dive into the history so this was made in 20... history lesson <laughs> this was made in 2014 uh after the Smiler. Now, uh, Swarm was made before the Smile actually. Steam to Robots Invasions, or not Robot Aliens. And, um, yeah, uh, it was really insane for its time. I think Bro was thinking of Robots Innovation. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not, it's not based on that. It's based on Alien. Yeah, really good though. Yeah. And you ready to do number one or? Uh, I think we should wait. Okay. No, we're, uh, we're just going to carry on talking about this I think this you guys can already guess what number one is. Yeah, we don't really have Saying to this say. is a 2024 list. Number one will be... Hyperia, the UK's tallest and fastest. Find your fearless. Oh? It's really, really Yeah, uh, find your fear. Literally, I'm just going to let Ed talk. Ed, you know what you need to say. It's absolutely. It's good. just like the trailer and the show where they have to make the wings to find your fearless when they're about to take you. Like the two airtime hills at the back and the overbank. Yeah, the overbank, amazing. And then the a bad part is all it does is shut and close and shut and close and shut. But well, that's really the bad. That's the only bad part. Yeah, that's the bad part. But the worst, that super good ride, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Like. Yeah. But it's not better than Twilight. Maybe. 
Maybe I haven't been on on it yet. Yes, we have both not to be been to Thorpe Park lately, but I should. Me and him should go soon because when I go in the holidays, I might take him with me. You know. Yeah, and I might just smuggle him in my bag. <laughs> I don't think I'll fit. Yeah, a problem. Um. Yeah, and my period is just generally from the theming on in the station. Like, well, theming, that's the thing. Theming's not... Like, th no, the station's cool, because not many uh, stations have, like, an actual box now. Oh. Alright, so, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so basically, uh, I'm literally just going to show you this, then I'm going to see the end. Uh, and my, my best friend, Ed, is just going outside for a quick second. Uh, I don't know why, but it's a, she's out of the way. Anyways, here's the POV. Oh, I'm gonna dialogue, dialogue. And I'm not dialogue. Obviously not the smoothest. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so... I swear, it is the most insane ride in the world, Hyperia does go quite tall, tall, biggest coast in the UK, that drop, the thing, the outer bank, the uh, inner element, the the dive loop, it's, there's only one bad part, which is, is that it's short. Yeah, I think they could have made it a little bit longer. Yeah, over that lake. I don't know if they own it, but that outer bank at the start, even. Yeah, so me and Ed, hope you guys enjoyed. Yes. Please subscribe and peace. peace. Out.